Yo, what's up, y'all? It is 8 a.m. Um, I got to work at 7 a.m. I work from 11.30 to 7 a.m. And I come straight to school. And I stay here to about 11.30. Um, so my days are pretty long, stressful. And we're not even adding the, the commute to get to work from my house. But... um. I'm just, I want to encourage you guys to really pursue your dreams. Don't give up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times I see on my social media that people just working regular jobs to survive, but they ain't really pursuing their dreams. And it's kind of, I can't live that way. I'm sorry. I've seen it too much in my life. I've seen people that I love start things and they can never finish it start this can't finish it start doing this they look like they're going somewhere can't can't finish it can't no matter what they put their hands on no matter what they tap into they can't finish that or finish it and I don't want that to be my story whatever I touch I want it to be blessed I want it to succeed and ultimately I mean if I can't do both then I'll do nothing at all you understand what I'm saying like I'll be pursuing my dreams and I'll be working too but I can't just be working a regular job and putting my career and my ministry on holds because, you know, I need to make some money to survive. And I understand everybody's situation is different. But if you want to do it, a way will he be made, plain and simple. I make no excuses. And I want to set the example for everybody that that you can pursue your dreams. You can be successful. You can, you can do whatever you want to do. Excuses come a dime a dozen. You understand what I'm saying? But it's how bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Some people don't want it bad enough, and they'll spend their whole life, they'll go through their 20s, they'll go through their 30s, they'll go through their 40s, 50s, just working a 9-to-5 job, still barely surviving, when you could be barely surviving and pursuing your goals. You understand what I'm saying? So enough of this just getting by. Oh, I got kids. Oh, you know, my boyfriend or my girlfriend or my wife, my husband. I don't got the money to go back to school. I still owe the government money. I don't drive. I live too far. The school won't let, you know, it's a million excuses, but I promise you, and I'm not going to say everything I want to say in this video because it'll be extremely long, but I'm going to tell you like this. If you want to do something, you'll do it. No excuses. And God will supply all your needs, everything that's in your heart to do according to his will and his timing. He'll make a way for you. Trust and believe. I know better than anybody. Getting back into school seemed impossible, and it came a few days right before I even got the second job. So thank God for two jobs. Thank God for my place, you know what I'm saying? Thank God, you know, that I'm able to do things that I, I haven't been able to do because, for one, I didn't have enough money or no money at all. But, you know, I'm in a good space, so I just thank God, and I'm grateful this morning that I'm here early for school, but still all good. So that's what it is. I love you guys. Be blessed. Stay driven.